Welcome back everyone to more pure farming coverage here at Neepit Gaming. Today's video is all about the newest entry, the newest animal here in the pure farming 2018 world, and that is goats. So we're here at the location of one of two goat sheds here on the Montana map. So let's start by pulling up the map and we will zoom out so you can get an idea of where we are. So over here is the starting farm location. Here are your two starting fields. And where we are located is down by the same location that we sell all of our greenhouse goods. If you follow us on the, uh, the gameplay series that we do here in Pure Farming, this is where we sell all of our greenhouse goods, uh, the tomatoes and peppers and so on. So that's where we are in the location for the very first goat shed. And if we go to completely on the other side of the map to essentially as far north as you can get on the map is the location for the second goat shed. Now they are identical. The way they function is identical, but those are the two locations. You can see goat uh, shed number two is located right by the logistics center and there is an orchard nearby as well. So that gives you some idea of where we are on the map. And if you look behind us, this is, there is the location where we normally sell our greenhouse goods. And then your creamery is back in the distance there. So very close to your starting location. And there you can see the uh, fodder that we're going to be dealing with here momentarily. So how do the goats work? Well, let's start out by purchasing the basic goat pen. $25,000. We'll go ahead and purchase that. And capacity is 10 goats. This is where my disappointment began with the goats. I thought, okay, there's going to be a, a basic pen. No problem. It's going to be $25,000. Let's upgrade. There's no upgrade. So there's only one level of the goat pen. You can only have a maximum of 10 goats. And you can already see as I move back into the circle, each of the goats cost $150. So we're gonna go ahead and spam that purchase button and get our 10 young goats. Now, one of the questions I had was, what kind of goats are they gonna be? Uh, I have some familiarity with goats from real life experience owning some goats. And so when I saw these, I thought, um, yeah, those aren't the goats that I had. These more look like uh, Sanin goats. Now. I have absolutely no idea how these, uh, how that name is pronounced around the world, but here in Tennessee, we pronounce it Sanin. At least that's the way I've heard it pronounced at goat sales. So there are our 10 young goats, and they work very similarly to the uh, cows in a lot of respects, but one respect, very important respect, they are very different, and I wish they were indeed the same. So we come over to our goat fodder and you can see it's $15 a piece. Let's go ahead and max out the amount of goat fodder that we can purchase. And you can see it's going to cost us $3,600 for 240 bags of that. So now you can tell it's really not cost us a whole lot of money uh, to get going. 25 grand for the goat shed, which by the way, does look kind of nice. I wish I could get in there. But it does look uh, kind of nice. One of the nicer uh, goat sheds I've actually seen. But then here on the side are the most important pieces that you're probably wondering about. Here is your slurry tank. So the goats will produce slurry. There is no manure. They will not produce uh, solid manure. But then we have our milk silos. So the goats will produce goat milk. Okay, excellent. So that leads me to believe that the goats, working the goats, will actually be a, a very worthwhile investment. Well, unfortunately, that's not the way it worked out. And to show you exactly how things are going to end up, we're going to cut now, and we'll come back when these are fully grown. All right, we are back, and it is now day four, as you can see in the top left-hand corner of the screen. And our kids, or young goats, have now become adult goats. We have 10 fully grown adult goats meaning that at this point we could sell them for a profit. Also, what it means is just like with the cows, this is where from this point forward, this is where they're going to start to produce 
uh, goat milk. You can see there's already been a little bit of liquid fertilizer or slurry there. Uh, so that will continue for this point forward, but this is the, the starting point for obtaining the goat's milk. We'll talk a little bit more about uh, how much they produce and how often and that kind of thing here in uh, just a few minutes. But the first thing to point out is this is where you could sell the goats for profit and look at the prepared fodder. So we started out maxing out the available fodder and it cost us $3,600. If you decided that you wanted to sell now, we've still got 92% of the fodder available. So it's actually, in all likelihood, cost us very little money uh, for this three-day period for the goats to become fully grown and available for sale. So keep that in mind if you decide to, to uh, use this philosophy and keep the goats for the shortest amount of time to make a profit, then you won't have to deal with uh, purchasing fodder very much at all. Let's go ahead into our handheld and come up to the shop and see how much we could get for our now adult goats. You can see $320 a piece. So we purchased them for $150. Now we could sell them for better than double. So keep that in mind. That's one of the reasons I was so disappointed that we could not uh, upgrade our goat pen once again uh, to a level two and keep, you know, who knows, 30, 40 or more goats there. So very disappointed about that, but there is some money to be made there because the fodder is going to be uh, so cheap for the time period that you need to keep the goats and the fact that the selling price is better than double what you pay for them. But the question remains, uh, is that the way to go or Similar to cows, can we make a lot of money by keeping them well into their adulthood uh, right up to the point where they become old goats and simply profit off of the liquid fertilizer and the goat's milk? Well, we'll be back in just a moment to take a look at that very question. And now we are back on day 15. Now, day 15 is important because this is the final day that you will have adult goats. After this, beginning on day 16, you will have old goats. And when you have old goats, you'll have those for a few days, and then you'll have no goats very shortly after that. So you definitely don't want to be there. But the most important thing to keep in mind here is that unlike with the cows, you don't get the huge payoff for waiting to at least day 10 in the cycle. And again, I talk more about that in uh, the cows guide video that you can find here on the channel. But you can see by looking at our values for the liquid fertilizer and the goat milk, there's just no return here. 6% liquid fertilizer, that's not anywhere close to, that's about half of a tank of slurry. So you're not gonna get very much money there. Goat milk, same thing. 8% of the storage value of goat's milk, which I checked and it does, the uh, actual silo back here, the milk silo does hold the same amount of, of milk as the cow milk silo does. So it's just not worth it. Now, there is one redeeming quality. It's, it's as if the developers said, you know what, we're not going to give them the same volume of milk, but we are going to change up the pricing a little bit from cow's milk to goat's milk. So let's take a quick look at that. So let's go ahead and go into the stock market and we'll move our way over to, of course, these values are always subject to change. Uh, in your game so these won't be exactly what I'm sure you will find but right now cow's milk is bringing five hundred and ninety three dollars and you can see it started out somewhere around five hundred and forty dollars so that's just keep that in mind for a a range and now we'll move on to maybe there he was went right past it goat's milk so you can see it's not quite twice the amount of money. So you start out somewhere around $950. And you can see right now, currently, it's a little bit over $1,000. So what they've done is they have attempted to get give you nearly double the price for the goat milk as opposed to the cow's milk. But the problem is the volume is simply way, way too low to be of any real uh, benefit to you in the game. So with that in mind, 
Uh, really, the only two reasons I can think of to have goats is, number one, if you're like me and you just really like goats. Like, in, in real life, I don't have any goats right now, but I'd really like to have some more because I really like goats. That's one reason to do it. And then the second reason is they do provide a source of income, and particularly early game, they're fairly cheap to get involved with, and you can use a pretty high turnover rate and make a decent amount of money early game. But beyond that, uh, they're nice to look at, but there's not a whole lot of profit to be made there. Uh, particularly if you're thinking that you're going to hold on to them like you do with cows and have manure, slurry, and milk income to make in addition to selling off the goats once they uh, reach full maturity and on the verge of becoming old goats. It's just not there. The profit is not there. And at this point, I will remind you that this is a game. These are a brand new release to the game. So further updates I'm sure will be on the way and who knows what type of profitability we might get from the goats in the future. If that changes substantially, then who knows, maybe we'll be making another video and talking about how profitable the goats are. But for now, they are more of an eye candy type thing. And if you're like me, you want to keep them around just because you enjoy goats. But other than that, there's just not a whole lot there. That's going to do it for now. Thank you very much for joining me in our discussion today about goats. And stay tuned as we will continue our Pure Farming 2018 coverage.